Okay, we'll start by installing XAMPP, which you can get from apachefriends.org. Um, the good thing about XAMPP is it comes in Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. So we'll just click on the Windows one and download the XAMPP package. Now I'm going to go for the installer because that's the easy option. And now normally you just hit save file, but um, I'm going to hit cancel because I've got one I prepared earlier. So, if we double click on this to start installing it. It's a pretty simple wizard, pretty much just go next, 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 accept all the default values. Now, I've sped this up a bit, um, your computer's probably not going to do it this fast, but I didn't think you'd want to sit through watching this install. So, there we go, all done. Just click finish. And we'll start up the XM control panel. Now, we want to start up Apache, which is a web server, and MySQL. Now, if you click on the little admin button, you can test to see if it's working. And we want to choose English. From this page here, you can look at a few interesting things like PHP info. Um, you can also get access to PHP My Admin from here. Now, for some reason, it defaults to German, but I'm going to change it to English because I don't speak German. So I'll just pick English out of the list. Now I'm going to set up a database uh, so I can install an example copy of Joomla. So I'm going to call this one Joomla17 and hit create. Now I'll grab my Joomla install files. I've downloaded this earlier and extracted the zip file. And I'm just going to rename this to Joomla17 and cut. Now I'll go to c slash xamp slash htdocs which is the default root for your web server and I'll just paste it in there and just have a look there it's just normal Joomla install files nothing fancy. Now if we go to the web browser and just type in localhost slash whatever the folder name is so in this case Joomla17 and that'll start the install process. Now I'm going to choose English Australia for my language. Okay, next, next. Okay, the default uh, database username is root and the password is blank. And I'll put in the database name that I set up, Joomla17. We can skip FTP, give the site a name. I'll just call it Joomla17 test and put in your email address and the password for the site and I'll install the sample data too okay next and we want to remove the installation folder now let's have a look at our site and you'll see this. Um, unfortunately, XAMPP has strict uh, PHP strict standards turned on by default, um, but you can fix that up just by going into C slash XAMPP, find your php.ini file, and edit that file. In here, there's a, a setting called error reporting, so you can just go find error underscore reporting. It's not the first one you find, it's the next one. Um, You'll notice in here how it's got this E strict at the end. We can just delete that and just leave the E all so it shows all errors but not the strict PHP strict. We'll just save that and exit. Now, you need to restart your web server for that to take effect. So I'll just stop Apache and start it up again. And now I'll refresh the page. And there you go, your nice pretty Joomla site ready to go and ready for you to have a play. So... Time to start playing.